Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is five fast knife reviews, and these are all going to be small titanium folders. This is the Concept Gremlin, an extremely smooth EDC knife, and then this one has fat carbon inlays. The blade steel is S35VN, and the flipping action is really good on this. There's no jimping on the flipper tab. It is pretty smooth, but you have good purchase on it. And the detent is extremely well-tuned. Access to the lock bar right here is very nice. And it is very smooth on the drop. Ceramic caged bearings. Titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer. And you have a lanyard hole right there. Because it is a smaller knife. And just to kind of show you the size knife it is, um, all these knives are going to be on the smaller side. This is my concept occipiter. And this is a full-size knife you know, right around eight inch knife, three and a half inch blade. So you can see how small the Gremlin actually is. It's a pretty small knife, but still a very capable knife. Very, like I said, very smooth. It's, um, it, you can feel the quality in this knife. And then the geometry of this semi recurved blade, it does have a little bit of recurved, beautiful satin finish, but it is, you know, pretty slicey, good enough for a, a little um, knife. Now, I can technically get a four-finger grip, but it's not it's not the most comfortable four-finger grip. You know, this is more going to be used like this, you know, maybe every once in a while, some little bit of um, slicing tasks just because of the size. But very, very capable EDC knife. Next, we have... The Rake M661TZ. Now, this did come in a budget option, but this is the titanium version. Now, we have 154 cm blade steel, and it's only a thumb stud deployment. Now, you'll see I put this little um, rubber ring around the thumb stud. These thumb studs are pretty sharp and small, so I find that adding this little tiny rubber gasket or rubber ring does help a lot. Now, you, it's not that big of a deal as long as you keep your fingers off the lock bar because on this model, the lock bar is very, very sensitive. But if you keep your fingers off of it, it's actually pretty easy to deploy and it's not really bad at all. So I just kind of hold my fingers around there and the deployment's just fine. Very, very smooth on the drop. The access to the lock bar is very generous and you can see how smooth it drops. G10 on this side. And then we do have a steel pocket clip and a G10 backspacer. It's actually a full backspacer. And one of the reasons why is because, and you can see the stop pin right there, is because the blade would be very close right here because the, most of the blade hides inside of the handle. Now, we do have a steel lock bar insert on the titanium frame. It is locked up very solid, and it is on bearing, so it's very, very smooth. Now, this one does come in a couple different blade shapes, so you can get this exact same one in a Warney. So, uh, a lot of people might prefer this blade shape over this one because of the size. You can get a full four-finger grip, but it'll be probably beneficial for utility cuts a little bit better, which is really nice for a, a knife of this size. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is... <laughs> I had to fail it. The Spyderco Brower. I love this little knife. You can get a complete full grip on this knife while having a nice little cutting link there. It is a titanium frame lock. Nice big um, lock bar insert. You can see the different colors right there. Nice strong lock up. Very, very solid. This one is on washers, but it is very, very smooth. Now it's mostly a thumb deployment because the hole does hide there in the handle, but you can easily get it. I can, well, at least I don't have a problem flicking it because they do leave a little bit hanging out right there. Steel spring pocket clip that does work really good and you have something to pull in and out of, so you have a way to grasp it. And yeah, very comfortable in the hand, very slicey. The blade steel on this one is S30V, full flat grind that is very, very slicey. And you can see the name of it right there, the Brower with the the um the designer's logo. 
good access to the lock bar. You can really, you can see how they leave you a little chamfer right there and you can see the lock bar, very easy to disengage. And awesome knife, very tough built knife too. Next, so we have two more. We got the Kaiser Fire Ant. Now this is a Dirk Pinkerton design, S35 VN blade steel, and it's riding on phosphor bronze washers and Teflon that gives you an ultra smooth um, deployment and closing. Now the deployment and the closing is, what I mean by smooth is not like bearings where it's drop shutty. It's where it's just, it's super smooth, frictionless action. So you can slow roll it or you can flick it open with the reverse flick or the thumb flick. You do want to be cognitive of the frame on this one. You don't want to um, squeeze onto it when trying to deploy, but it does break in. Like mine now is pretty easy to um, flip open because I've had it for a little while. Oh yeah, and this anno is our anno. This, it came like this, where it's just raw titanium. We did this anno. So just FYI, we have a beautiful sheep's foot slash Warncliffe blade shape. It's going to be fantastic for utility cuts. Nice full finger grip. Well, but this is a very small knife. I mean, this is not a large knife at all. Very compact, very easy to carry. The titanium milled clip does work really, really good. And it is a tough built knife. You can really feel the toughness in it. I mean, no play, any directions. And the lock bar access is really um, it's decent. It's not like the best, but it is pretty good because they put this little chamfer down on the side right there. So it's pretty easy to get to very compact little knife, but awesome built knife. And they do have somewhat of a larger version of this, which is the, the Kaiser rogue, which is literally basically the same thing, just a larger version. Now it's not called the fire ant large or anything. It is a different name, but it's the same designer and overall, basically the exact same design. I actually did a video on both of them. So I'm pretty sure I have a video that shows them both back to back. If you look up the review on the Kaiser fire ant on my channel. Dirk Pinkerton is kind of known for, I'm not left-handed, sorry guys, is kind of known for these blade shapes. I mean, he's got a lot of different blade shapes. He's got a lot of knives with Persians, but he's got a lot of knives with this exact blade shape. I probably have five or six knives of his that have this exact same blade shape. So let's get to the next one. Last but not least, we have the Migoron Pagos. Now, this one comes in multiple different versions, and I think they have a new version coming out with no inlay at all, just all titanium. But this is a titanium frame lock, and you can see, if you look closely, this is a blue, basically like a blue marbled carbon fiber. It's a mixture between carbon fiber and G10, and you can really see the blue popping out both sides. And they have a red one or, you know, the exact same thing, but in red instead of blue. And then I believe they have just a regular um, carbon fiber one. But like I said, the new one is coming with just raw titanium. So it'll be just like this, which I really like this texture. This texture, it's very, very grippy. It feels really good in the hand. The thumb studs are very smooth, but easy to deploy access to the lock bar is very nice it is on ceramic caged bearings and it is very smooth you do have a front flipping action so you have multiple ways of deployment easy to reverse flick now this one's the biggest knife on the list but it's still a compact knife i mean i can get a full four finger grip down here or i can scoot up i think it's basically like a 3.25 inch blade but awesome action and like I said, this front flipper does work very, very well. And very lightweight knife, titanium milled pocket clip. I do have a full review on this if you want to see it. We have a gold pivot collar over here and the blade steel is M390. And this is almost a straight back. It's not quite a, I know it's probably labeled as a drop point, but in all reality, that's pretty much a straight back. 
We have a lot of belly here. So this is not going to be your utility cutting knife. It's going to be a little more difficult to use this tip because you have to lift up so high. And when you lift up that high, you lose all the leverage. So it's going to be mostly, um, the use is going to mostly fall in this belly right here and this flat area for push cuts or for slicing. But awesome, awesome knife. I love the texture of it. I did, you know, complain about a couple things with this knife. If you want to see that, you can watch my full review. But, you know, in all honesty, there's always a good and bad in all my reviews. But Migoron knives are, um, you know, I, I've, um, I'm excited to check out more because to me, they're kind of new to me. So I've gotten to get a bunch of them on the channel lately. And some of them have been very, very surprising. And I, I'm always excited to check out more. So there you guys go. The Migoron Pagos M390 titanium and carbon fiber. Peace.